Uh, welcome back again, everyone. Uh, hope, like, hope you're enjoying today. Um, is the camera? Yeah, I should use this. I'm holding it. Um, we've been talking about this. Okay, Dent is great. You can use use just like any other Linux. You don't have anything to custom. There's no uh, proprietary interfaces. And we, and we keep talking about this. Uh, and we want to go ahead and show you guys. Okay, it really is Linux looks. I mean, uh, you, you've seen the uh, testing demo. The, the commands just flash by, but uh, we didn't feel like it was really interactive enough. So we came up with a uh, quick, uh, what do you call, set of instructions we can give. We, uh, we, we'll show you a few, uh, what do you call, commands that we're going to run. There are two sessions. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go to the first one with you first to show, okay, how do you ping a, a, a device from another device? And in this case, the devices happen to be two switches. They are the dent image, uh, devices. We downloaded the image from the community. There's nothing custom. You can use the same thing with the uh, virtualization or we can just go ahead and do like the way we're doing it uh, with the switches. Um, we're going to go through how do you ping? How do you set up and ping? And the second one is, okay, let's go ahead and make it like really more complicated. Uh, how do you do the BGP neighborhood setup? So that you can say, um, okay, uh, this, this is router and it really does work. I'm, I'm communicating between two devices and the neighborhood is set up, it's up and running. So we're gonna go through that exercise a little bit uh, with you guys. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and like leave the machines here, the laptop is here, I, I want you really, like come and touch it, use it, uh, see if it makes sense to you guys. Um, next page, please. Um, not going through the too much details. Um, how do you connect two switches to each other? Um, this is Linux again. The, it's very uh, simple functionality. Let me go upstairs so I make you can see me first. And uh, the functionality is very simple. Whenever you're doing a server-to-server -server communication, you need to go ahead and make sure that the interface is up, right? Uh, you assign the IP addresses to those interfaces, and you do ping. It's as simple as it is. Uh, and we'll, we'll have uh, this, the same thing in a second. Like we're, we're going to go down and look at IF config. It's going to show you the, the interfaces available on the system. Uh, if you're using a normal uh, Linux server, maybe you'll see a couple of NICs. Maybe you'll see four. In this case, it happens to have 48. Uh, the the interface do you want to set up, you're just going to go ahead and put it down first. It's again IF config. And then you're going to go ahead and add the IP address to the interface. Uh, you can use DHCP, etc., obviously. Uh, but in this case, we're going to say a IP addre address add. It's again standard Linux commands. I, the IP address you're adding, enabling the, the, the port, happens to be a switch in this case. Nothing different from a service, it's just running on a switch. Um, then we're going to go ahead and see, okay, let's go ahead and bring the port up. Is it a, a, alive? It is alive. We're going to do, okay, let's go ahead and ping from the first switch to the second switch. Ping. Uh, we are going to go ahead and change the thing a little bit later on because it's going to say, yeah, the, the answers are coming from the, the second machine because we are doing the same stuff uh, on the uh, second server uh, device, except the IP address is different. Uh, and then we're going to say, okay, let's go ahead and make it a little bit like really prove that it's really working. We're going to do TCP dump. Again, there is nothing custom. It's standard Linux commands. Uh, you're just going to go ahead and do IP uh, like ping from one switch. And the second switch on the terminal, you're going to say, yep, somebody is using this interface. But there is nothing custom. There is nothing ma magical. The only difference is you're all doing this thing in the, uh, what do you call, two switches which happen to have a lot of nicks on it. Uh, do you want to go ahead and switch quickly? You can escape it. So we have two terminals here. In, in the first terminal, we're going to go ahead and set up the first so, uh, switch. And he's checking What's the status of the IP, uh, what do you call, port? Nothing, uh, what do you call, switch specific. And he's doing the same thing on the second uh, switch. Yeah, the, the, the devices are there, the net, net, network interface cards are there. Let's go ahead and put the ports down so that we can go ahead and start configuring them. Uh, 
and Linux, uh, I, uh, what do you call? IP address add. The address is, I think, 10, 10, 10, 1. And the second one is going to be 10, 10, 10, 2. Very imaginative. And by the way, if you look at the switch there, and we're going to invite you to go ahead and take a look at this, we have very simple two cables connecting the two switches. There's nothing more complicated than that. It's, it's really is going to be talking, one switch talking to the other one. They are not connected otherwise to the internet. It's just cables. <coughs> yep. We've set the IPs up. Let's go ahead and bring the interface up. What is setting up on the second uh, devices? Okay, let's go ahead and start uh, monitoring what's going on on the port. TCP is going to say if some if, if there's any activity, it's going to say yeah, there's some something going on. As you can see, we're pinging from one device to another one. Again, there's nothing magical. It is simple Linux. You don't have to go and invest in new management software. You don't need to go and invest in and learn anything new. The, the learning curve or learning time is zero because you're using Linux. And by the way, we are using the standard image from the community. We downloaded this image from the community. So like even in our case, there's nothing custom here to run it on the switch. It is as simple as that. The, the second example, uh, do you want to go to the second one, if you don't mind? We're going to make it your life like really, really harder in this case. Okay, we're going to go ahead and ask you to do how do you set up the BGP network? Uh, I'm giving you a little bit uh, what they call a cheat thing. We're going to go ahead and go into the configuration mode, obviously. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and give you the commands to do how to do the, uh, how to configure the B BGP or define the neighborhood uh, peering um, and how to activate it. The, there's a little bit command there that says how do you exit the ex uh, configuration mode. It's exit, the, nothing magical, uh, and <coughs> how, how to do the configuration. I am really asking you guys to go ahead and try to participate in this one. I would really appreciate if you come and uh, talk to, uh, Chaitin and take a look at like what needs to be done. Um, and if you don't know how, I've printed a bunch of copies of the commands. So you can look at the cheat sheet there. But if you want to see the cheat sheet, just come, come and take a look at it. It's very, very simple. <coughs> if you haven't done it before, setting it up is easy. Any volunteers to do it like with us? I have cheat sheets. Come in. Do you want to take one of the uh, microphones? And by the way, we are giving power banks. Oh, by the way, we are giving power banks for anybody who comes and wants to take it. Uh, what do you call? Take it, take a shot at this. And by the way, our the power bank banks are really cool. They are wireless, so you put your phone on top, it charges. They have 70% some charge, yes. Do you want to take a microphone so you can help? Do, do we have extra ones or? Take it. It's okay. It's, it, there is one.
There's nothing magical. It is simple, straightforward. We 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 didn't want to go down and put the commands in the uh, screen so that it it looks a little bit more complicated. But take a look at these cheat sheets. We we, we have a bunch. You can just go down and take them. Yeah, this is the standard uh, FRR shell. Uh, oh, by the way, yes, we're going to use FRR to uh, configure the uh, BGP neighborhood. In this case. It's just the FRRs, all commands are going to directly go to the uh, ASIC. We're going to go ahead and do the initialization there without knowing we're going through the ASIC. <coughs> yeah, that IP is the local loopback IP, 2020-101. Or BGP space. And I think I believe he's just typing the commands on that sheet. Yeah. And there's like four he commands for those commands. To bring up your uh, BGP session and enable the peering. I think this is yeah. um, maybe uh, can I can please go for it so the um, I guess like all of the commands on Linux are really cool to just like use your default tooling to see all of the stuff mm -hmm. um, let's just say um, that there is yeah. something broken in switch dev for example like I see that the kernel has the state, it sees like it has the IP address, it has the routes and all that stuff. But for some reason, my ASIC is not actually forwarding stuff. Um, is there any like lower level tools that I can use here to see if like, because like Linux says everything is great, but can I see on a, on a lower level, like on the ASIC level or somewhere also to like, can I check somehow if the ASIC received everything that the kernel thinks it should have? I'll briefly explain like what we do, but then I'll, I'll give the microphone to <laughs> Sandeep because this is a question that we are also de dealing with. This is Linux. How do you uh, figure out if the networking is working? Uh, you go to the syslogs. Okay, that's like, there, there's, on that case, there's nothing different. However, um, we do realize the fact that the all devices have different functionality, and we, we do need to do a little bit more than what the standard Linux does. So Sandeep and his team uh, are working on the uh, improved debuggability for uh, Linux. And we are, going to, uh, we are planning to contribute all these back. So Sandeep, do you want to take the microphone here? We took it seriously. So yeah, that's a gap currently. Linux being more of a server and such operating system, we had a gap in Get closer to the microphone. For, uh, yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, so what tools need to be built to uh, allow for debuggability or any sorts of visibility in uh, the data plane uh, was a challenge. Uh, and added to that, there is also uh, <coughs> security aspects to it. Uh, so what we've done in the last year, uh, and hopefully that should come uh, upstream to uh, the Dent community in around, I say, I would say, uh, Q1 of 24, uh, is both the ability to debug uh, issues in the uh, ASIC, whether it was programmed properly, uh, check its states, uh, but also allow for an opportunity to do like uh, telemetry and monitoring on top of it, right? Uh, keep a track of like if you are offloading any sort of TCP error handling in the ASIC, uh, watch for them before your network actually goes down. Um, and <clears throat> the other angle that we were hoping is to have some sort of a control plane uh, outside of all the FRR and standard uh, control plane features um, for you to be able to configure uh, the ASIC or program the ASIC directly uh, with any new application that you may want to configure it with. 
uh, directly from the cloud, any new application, et cetera, right? Uh, so I think this interface in general allows you to do all of that. Uh, other challenge with this is creating some sort of a, a hardware abstraction layer uh, because uh, a single tool may not work with a variety of chipsets. Uh, so that is also something we're working on and hopefully uh, with the abstraction layer that we create for using Psi allows us to do that as well, right? So. Thank you, Sandeep. Um, while Sandeep was answering the question, I don't know if you've noticed it, our volunteer did type the commands. You set up the BGP, F2 FRR, but three, three, four minutes. It's not really that complicated. As, as long as, gr great job, great job. <laughs> Power bank. <laughs> um, we are going to go ahead and leave the setup on, uh, on this table. Uh, you can just go, please use the laptop, go ahead and uh, poke into whatever you would like to. Uh, give it a try. Get your hands on it. Uh, until the uh, end of the, uh, what do you call this, uh, mini summit, we are going to have the setup ready for you guys to use any, any way you want. It. Please, I encourage you to go ahead and take a look at it, okay? Any more questions? And anyone who tries will get a t-shirt and a power bank. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much, guys. Thanks for coming by.